Federal Government will announce a range of measures later today aimed at reducing problem online gambling. Called the National Consumer Protection Framework, the goal is to make gamblers take back some control. Joining me now, Social Services Minister Paul Fletcher. Good morning to you, Minister. Thanks for joining us. Morning, we know online gambling is an issue. Is it getting any worse than sort of the old style of gambling? Well, the figures show that the rate of problem gambling amongst online gamblers is about three times the rate uh, amongst Whoa. old style gambling. Uh, you know, about uh, a million people uh, have online gambling accounts, about two and a half million accounts. And the estimates are close to a quarter of a million of those are at risk. Um, what, 25 per cent of that million online gamblers are at risk? Look, that's right. And part of the reason is because it's all so easy online, um, you, get, you get all kinds of inducements. Uh, until recently, they, they've been able to offer lines of credit. Now, we've already, as part of these 10 measures, one of them is to ban lines of credit and loans being provided by the online gambling providers. Okay. So we've already legislated to do that, but we've got 10 measures in this uh, National Consumer Protection now, Framework. Now, the centrepiece is a national self-exclusion. So a problem gambler can say, right, exclude me across all of these platforms that takes a lot of willpower doesn't it if you're already addicted how can you go exclude it certainly me? does take willpower but at the, at the moment the problem is even if you decide to do that you've got to go across site after site after site this will be one place you can go you make one decision you can exclude yourself for three months or, or for a lifetime uh, you'll be uh, referred to sources of information for counseling and so on so right. that, that'll be a software system that will be developed over the next 18 months we'll legislate we'll get the system yeah. developed in fact the work's already underway to develop it and that'll be a very important consumer protection measure um, along with restrictions on uh, inducements and a whole range of other measures clear, consistent uh, accounts, statements. Yep. Um, I met one problem gambler, I'll call him John, who was made redundant after 21 years at a, at a particular company, a bit depressed about that, had a payout of about $170,000. He managed to gamble all of that away online right. in just a few weeks. Yep. Now, he showed me his statements. There was nowhere on those statements that showed the total amount that he had bet. Right. So we're going to have some clear requirements in terms of the statements that have to be provided to gamblers. Well, that's a step in the right direction because it is addictive because Basically, these platforms gamify gambling, isn't it? It's so attractive. Um, thank you for that. Appreciate it.